Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with At Home with Jill, and today's video is gonna be two different days of cleaning simply because I just didn't finish the first day. So this part right here that you're watching, I was cleaning my house. It was um, Friday, no, it was Thursday. And um, I totally planned on like cleaning my whole house and uploading for Friday and it just did not happen because at one point I was like, I'm done. And then I was too tired to keep going and I was also too tired to even edit and upload and all the things. So I just decided, never mind, I'll just finish this tomorrow and then I will upload it Saturday instead. So it's gonna be Thursday and Friday cleaning and both cleaning sessions were after a full day of homeschool and not only that but I have gotten into like a really good exercising kick so every day I've been walking or jogging or running a mile I'm just making sure to do a mile a day um, sometimes I'll walk half of it and run the other half. Um, but yeah, so that is what I have been doing. And so honestly, like it's been so hard to, to keep up with YouTube, but I really want to, I want to post more and everything. And I need to, honestly, I need the income. So like there's that. Um, but I also love posting for you guys and motivating you guys, um, giving you guys this content that's like real life clean with me where I'm actually cleaning a messy house that is not staged and it's also not just already perfect because I hate the channels. I shouldn't say I hate the channels, that's rude, but like I don't get anything out of watching somebody clean a house that looks like it's already been cleaned. Um, so, because our house gets like this every single day. like literally every single day. Um, I have four kids. I have five kids, but I homeschool four kids 20, like 24 seven. Okay. So four kids are here 24 seven. I do not get a break from my kids until they are in bed at night. Okay. So all day they are here. We live here. So messes happen naturally. We homeschool. So we have lots of curriculum and manipulatives and like just random school items right like lots of books and all of the things so our house gets messy like it, it it is what it is but that's that's just life like our house gets messy we clean it every day um i don't always have like the motivation to like make a video that's where i'm that's what i'm really struggling with right now um because sometimes it's easier to just like get up and do what i need to do throughout the day and like keep up on things rather than like busting out the camera and being like okay i'm gonna put the camera up and film every angle that i'm doing and move it around and blah 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 and sometimes it's easier to just not worry about like what the camera is seeing. And sometimes I don't even wanna get dressed. I mean, let's be honest. Also, when the camera's moving around like that, it's my cat. My cat lays on the ground and messes with my tripod now. So that's kind of a pain in the butt, but um, I didn't realize she was doing it, so sorry. Um, but yeah, so. Like I was saying, our house gets like this every day. Like we, this is real life over here. Um, it's, it's just, yeah. I mean, I, I don't understand the, the houses that look spotless all the time. If their kids are home all the time, like I get it. If your kids go to school, um, so I used to kind of daydream about like, oh, my kids are in school. And so I clean the house when I get home from drop off and then it stays clean all day until they get home. But really, like I, I love having a house full of kids. Um, the messy part of it, like it's a sacrifice for sure. But I love it. Like I wouldn't change it for the world. I love having my kids home with me. I love that. I am their biggest influence rather than their peers, um, other kids their age in their classes, um, teachers that might have different 
beliefs than I do. Like, I just, I love that my kids are home under my authority, my influence, and I love teaching my kids life skills along with their education. Um, so they are getting like a regular education, you know, math, language arts, all the things, science, history, but I love teaching them life skills and I just love doing life with them. Like I just genuinely like hanging out with my kids. We play games. Um, we hang out together. Like they're my best friends. Um, and I wouldn't change it for the world. So anyway, I get a lot of people that comment on my videos telling me like, oh, you should just send your kids to school so your house can stay nice or so you don't have all this extra clutter and all that stuff. Like, I'm sorry, but one day I won't be homeschooling my kids anymore because they will be grown and I'll be able to get rid of all the homeschool stuff and then I'll be able to enjoy grandkids and give them back at the end of the day. But for now, like my kids are my life. I love homeschooling them, even though it is the hardest thing in the entire world. Okay, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's hard. I have ADHD. My kids have ADHD. Focus is a real hard thing for us. Motiv like we're not, I'm not self-motivated. Okay, so like I need pressure to motivate me. So that's usually why I am filming the day that I need to edit and upload a video because I'm not motivated enough to like film ahead of time or think ahead or plan ahead. Like I work well under pressure and that also makes school really hard because there are some days where like I don't want to stop my kids from playing or like the sun is out. So I just want to sit out in the sun all day or be outside all day. And then it's like two o'clock and I'm like, oh my gosh, we haven't done any school. We need to get our school done. I try not to do that, but it does happen a lot. And it's because I'm not self-motivated. But anyway, all right. So I just wanted to let you guys know, I have been struggling lately. I have not been wanting to film and all that, but... I'm doing it. All right, hold on. All right, guys, so I got myself a cute summer wardrobe at Walmart today. I only spent around $80. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so this is the dress I'm wearing. It is just a, it, it's really hard for me to film this with this camera. Like with my phone, it's so much easier. But okay, so it's just this cute little flowy, pink dress that's like cotton um it's like a t-shirt but it's super cute and it has pockets um and then so i got it in this color and then i got it in it's the um it's the ugh, time and true brand but i got it in this olive green color the same dress, super cute, okay? And then I got three really cute, simple tank tops. These were super cheap. This pink one is like ribbed like that. These ones are more smooth. This is kind of like a, it's like a hot pink kind of. It looks red on camera right now. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, so I got three little tank tops and then I got myself a visor because I really like to keep the sun out of my face but a lot of times I have my hair like up in a bun up here or like a claw clip in my hair or whatever and I don't like to have to put my hair down and take the clip out or the bun out to wear like a hat to keep the sun off my face. So I decided to get a visor. Hold on, the lighting is horrible. Okay, there we go. I decided to get a visor so that like when I go to the pool or when I just go outside, I can slip it on and keep the sun out of my face but also keep having my hair up here. So, got that, okay. And then, okay, hold on, let me set this here. Big. I know. Okay. Okay, hold on. Are they too big for you? 
Okay, so then I saw this video on TikTok and this this girl, she goes to Walmart and she gets men's $12, don't shake the bed please, the camera's up there. She gets $12 men's jeans from Walmart and then she comes home and cuts them into shorts that are the perfect length for her and then she customizes them by like cutting little holes in the pockets and holes like up here um, so that they fray and then they fray on the bottom and then like anyway whatever so I went with the intentions of getting some men's jeans to customize into some shorts for myself and let me just tell you that did not work out okay none of the jeans fit me right up here to where I would want them as shorts okay but I did find these women's shorts that are much longer than I wear shorts they're like really long they're a six inch inseam um and so i decided i got two pairs of these and i'm just gonna do the same thing with these that she was doing with the men's pants i'm gonna cut them a little shorter and then they will fray when i wash them and then i'll um i'll just add some custom details too some like little holes on the pockets some holes like up here a little bit and then also like she takes the pockets and like just cuts a little Dad, bit Dad off so that these fray a little bit Dad, too Dad anyway it's gonna be super cute I promise but so yeah I got two pairs of shorts the three tank tops the two dresses and um, the visor and it was literally all around like 78 bucks um so i was really happy with that because i have like no clothes right now that i actually feel comfortable in or that i like on me um and we literally skipped spring this year we went straight from it snowed last week to it was 80 degrees today and actually where i went like 10 minutes down the hill from my house it was 86 it was 86 degrees at walmart um and then up here it was in the 80s but not that hot anyway we went straight from winter to summer and so i needed some new clothes asap also we're going camping next week and these dresses are so simple to just like throw on and that's it like cute comfy doesn't really matter if anything happens to it it's you know whatever okay anyway i'm gonna get back to cleaning Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed my little Walmart haul. That was actually so fun going shopping. I went shopping with my mama um, earlier this day, which was the Thursday. Sorry guys, my kids are loud in the background. It's Friday night, we're having family night, but I snuck away to my room to edit this real quick and do my voiceovers. You're gonna hear noise in the background. That's them playing and having fun. Um, sorry, but Okay, so anyway, um, I had so much fun with my mom yesterday at Walmart. We went shopping, we didn't have the kids with us, so we just got to like browse and try on clothes, and it was just really fun. I, I loved it. I love hanging out with my mama. Um, I cherish these moments just because I know that they won't be here forever. Um, I am very blessed to live on a property with my parents and my dad is going through um, battling cancer right now and I just never want to take for granted living with my like living um, as with my, okay so my parents are like my neighbors and I never want to take that for granted is what I'm trying to say all right so now with my outfit change this is Friday um, and the whole house was a mess again, even though, like, you literally just watched me clean it all. Um, this is now the next day, and it's after school again. So the rest of the house was a mess again, but I'm not going to film, like, I didn't want to film all of those parts again that because I didn't want them in my video twice. That would just be repetitive to me. So I just decided to film the parts that I did not film on Thursday, which was the kitchen, 
and what else did I film today? Oh, but I did film um, me kind of reorganizing and redecorating the TV wall because um, my cousin gave me a bunch of her fake plants that she was getting rid of. And so I was trying to find a place to pit, to put each of those. But then also um, the top shelf, like above our TV, the very top shelf, no matter what I put there, no matter what I do, it never looks good to me. Like nothing looks good up there. So I just decided that I was just going to fill that whole top part with books. And then in turn, that actually gave me more cupboard space in a couple cupboards um, for other stuff that I've gotten like for homeschooling. So like we have a bunch of craft stuff right now that doesn't really have a home and um just some other like school stuff and so i was able to like take a bunch of books out of cupboards put them all on that top shelf and then have more space in the cupboards for the extra homeschool stuff right now that will get used up because it's like craft stuff like i said so it's kind of temporary i'm just w i'm saving it for like a day where my kids are bored or it's like too hot to play outside or something and then they can do a craft and then you know then it goes in the trash and the cupboard is freed up again <laughs> but anyway so right now i'm just doing dishes i'm listening to my book I've been listening to Atomic Habits. I'm forgetting the author. I'm sorry. I'm horrible. I never know what names of authors are. Um, but I'm listening to Atomic Habits. I am I've been I've been listening to it and kind of applying it to homemaking and taking care of myself. So like health and exercise and just better like lifestyle habits in general and then i've also been just applying it to like my christian walk you know making sure like i'm staying in staying with the habit of reading my bible every day and praying about everything instead of you know worrying about everything um and so yeah i'm really enjoying it honestly and i do have to like you know chew up some of the meat and spit out the bones um, like some of it is a little like not just not my style or not my type of thought process, but I am liking it for the most part. Um, and it has been really helpful just to kind of adopt some different like mindsets as far as like building better habits and things like that. Um, and trying to get rid of bad habits that I have. Um, so it's been nice. But yeah, so I'm just cleaning the kitchen now, loading the dishwasher, you know, washing all the eggs. I think my camera did die at one point, and so it's going to kind of jump to like from like one scene to the next. But oh, yeah. Um, also, we had guests coming over. So please tell me if you guys ever do this. But I threw some dirty pans in the oven because I just, I didn't want to deal with washing and drying them. I was trying to get my house as clean as possible, as fast as possible before our guests came. Um, so I stuck a cutting board, two cookie sheets, and my cast iron skillets in the oven without washing them. But you know what? Sometimes you just, you do what you got to do. <laughs> so I just wanted to like get the counters clean and the floor clean and all of that. And so those were just in my way. And I'm like, I'm not washing these right now. But yeah, I hate when I hate when I do that. And then I forget the next day and I like preheat the oven or something. And then I'm like, oh, what's that smell? And I realized that like, there's dirty stuff in the oven that's now baking on. Um, so I'm really hoping that I remember to pull those out tonight and actually wash them and set them out to air dry overnight. Because that's the thing. Those things I like to air dry and I didn't want them out air drying when our guests came. I know, I'm weird. But that's just how I am. But wow, I did not realize how talkative of a mood I was in until I came and sat in here and started doing this voiceover. Wow. Also, okay, this reminds me, this part right here. I totally forgot to reposition the camera to show the stovetop 
but I started cleaning like the whole stove top area totally forgetting to move the camera towards it so I mean at least you can see me a little bit but I was really bummed when I got done like thoroughly cleaning this whole s oven or stove and then I like backed up and saw that the camera was aiming at the counter I was like oh no shoot but I mean accidents happen so all right guys and I had a question like kind of a question I guess um, but I was wondering like how many of my viewers here on YouTube are over on TikTok or watch TikTok because I have been working on growing my TikTok followers um, because I've my goal was to get 800 over there so I could start going live and I hit 800 and so I'm like on my way to a thousand over there and I would love it if I could monetize my TikTok just because TikTok is so much easier to do than YouTube and so I would be able to do TikTok like daily and then still do YouTube like a few times a week um, but TikTok because it's so easy and short um, I could do that daily and then I would just hopefully be able to increase my income a little bit um and so i was just wondering like if any of you guys um are over on tiktok and if you are if you would follow me over there so my tiktok my tiktok name is at home with jill um but i will try to remember to link um to link to link it below um, and then you guys could follow me over there. I would love that. Um, I am a little more weird over there just because like, I don't know, I feel like more of my personality kind of shows on TikTok than here. Cause on here, you're literally just like watching me like clean my house and then, yeah. So I feel like you don't like really get to know me, um, watching my YouTube channel, but, um, that's okay because I'm here to motivate you to get up and clean your house, right? And so that's that's what we're here for. But if you guys do enjoy TikTok, then please follow me over there. Like I said, I'll link it. Oh, and that reminds me, sorry, I've been really bad about answering my comments lately too, but someone asked me about my Bluetooth headphones, my pink ones, and so I'm going to link that. I'm going to link my Bluetooth headphones that I've been wearing, my pink ones. They're super comfortable. They are like so cushiony and soft and comfy. Um, I love them. But I also have this Bluetooth headphones that's like a headband. Um, it's like a soft fabric headband that goes on. It looks like a headband or like ear warmers or something. You can't even tell they're headphones. I wear those when I get in bed at night because my husband is normally already sleeping and I'm trying to watch a show to fall asleep. And so I wear those because then I can lay my head like flat against the pillow. Um, those have been awesome too. So I'll link both of those. Um, looks like my video is almost over though. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know. Let me know what you think about all the books up top. I think like I feel like it's a little bit visually overstimulating, but like I don't know. I I have just not been able to figure out a way to fill that in a way that I like. And so I'm going to leave it like this for a while. But let me know. And I love you guys. Thank you. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.